Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Pretty excited today because I'm just reading an article on 43 Rumors. The article that's got me excited is to do with Panasonic. As you'll recall, when I was just talking recently about the GH5S, that fantastic new high-end video camera from Panasonic, the number one detractor that I saw, the number one falling down point, failure point for that camera, in my opinion, was the fact that it doesn't have something similar to Canon's dual pixel AF. Something similar to what Sony offers, which is you know, similar to the dual pixel AF in the sense that we're talking about the ability to track a moving subject smoothly and accurately during video or even in live view mode taking photos. Now, what we have here, um, the article from uh, 43 Rumors, it's entitled Panasonic filed two patents of multi-PD pixel sensor for on-sensor HDR and PDAF. Now, I'm not that concerned about the HDR. That's probably going to be a great feature, and hopefully it'll give us more dynamic range, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's the PDAF that's got me uh, got me excited here. So basically, um, it's a system, PDAF system. It looks like, as they say, sort of looks like the dual pixel AF that works on Canon mirrorless cameras. So that's the best autofocus system we have to date is the Canon dual pixel AF. You can get it in... The 80D, the 70D had it, T7i has it, the 77D has it, uh, we have it in the SL2, which is a very popular entry level. It seems to be a bit of a sleeper. It seems to be a, a lot of camera for very little money in that SL2. Uh, we have it in the 5D Mark IV. We have it in the 1DX Mark II. But it's not in all the cameras yet, but it does seem to be coming out in all of the latest and greatest ones. I'm actually hoping that the G7X uh, Mark III, when it comes out, has it because... If it had the, that dual pixel AF system, that much smoother video focus, I'd be inclined to use that G7X Mark III a lot more, uh, even if it doesn't have 4K. But I'm also hoping it has 4K. In any case, I digress. Those are the cameras we have from Canon that have it. A lot of Sony's newer cameras have a similar system, uh, and it's probably Sony's second only to Canon as far as um, their number two, as far as being as close to Canon as a dual pixel AF system. Now, it looks like Panasonic is realizing that this is the one thing that their customers are feeling is not uh, there. It's lacking in these newer cameras, even in the G9. Although I've heard reports, I think it was Robin Wong had reported that the, the G9 uh, is, is better than all of the other ones to date. And perhaps the GH5S will be better, but it's still not on par with dual pixel AF uh, from Canon or what Sony's offering. So this gives me a lot of hope. I hope that this new PDAF system is basically going to be Panasonic's uh, answer to the Canon dual pixel AF system. And I hope it's as good or even better. It's always better for somebody else to be advancing the game, to be pushing the envelope and making everybody else catch up. Wouldn't it be awesome for all of us if Panasonic's new system just smoked everybody and it was the best thing since sliced bread? And then Canon had to catch up, and Nikon had to catch up, and all the rest of them did. And we all benefited from all of the systems having an even better dual pixel AF type system. Or now maybe the, the, uh, the brand name that we'll refer to it as would be the PDAF system. That's what I'm hoping. What do you guys think? Are you as excited about this as I am? Are you hoping that Panasonic is indeed going to equal or catch up or surpass um, Canon or Sony in this front? Um, would you upgrade your camera because of this? Let me know in the comments below. Curious to hear your ear feedback, your input on this subject. This to me is huge, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. But I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, we get into some great discussions here. Looking forward to reading it in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.